We are at Bicentennial Park, one of the 30 stations here. You want to think of this more as a transit system, more like a bus or a taxi rather than a rental. Um, so you're using this more so from, go from going point A to point B, so from station to station. Um, and so if you're, say you're at Bicentennial Park, you want to go to City Hall, you take it, you drop it at City Hall, do whatever you need to do, and then when you're ready to leave, go grab another bike and leave. If you have an annual membership, you'll get one of these keys in the mail. And all you simply have to do is take it up, you place it in here, and you want to wait for the green light to come on. Once the green light has come on, you lift up and you pull out and you're ready to go. You can either get an annual membership for $75, and then the other option is to get a day pass, which you pay $6 for unlimited rides for 24 hours. Um, and that you'd actually have to go through the system, go through the menu on the kiosk itself, or a receipt prints out, it gives you a code, and then you can go up, pick your bike, put in your code, and go. If you sign up for an annual membership or you sign up at the kiosk, you are you know, agreeing to an, you know, a rental agreement, things like that. Um, basically, the liability for the bike. And also, too, our, our bikes are GPS monitored, so if one does go missing, we will be able to find it. There are 300 bikes in our fleet. If you go over 30 minutes, there is a usage fee of $3 um, for every half an hour that the bike is not locked up. Um, but there's also the options too, if you get to a station that's full, um, you can go to the kiosk itself and get a time extension so you can actually go find another station that's not full, things like that. So the 30 minutes kind of ensures that bikes stay in the system, stay in rotation, and more people can use them that way. It's pretty much a bring your own helmet system. We do incredibly encourage people to wear their helmets, um, but we do not have any way of renting out the helmets at the moment. So when you're returning your bike, it, you want to make sure that the green light comes on because when the green light comes on, your trip is over and your information has been docked. So, and you look here and when the green light's on, you're good to go.